to be quite honest, I haven't got like any orders on Etsy in a really long time. That seems to not have fixed the problem. So I'm just gonna keep placing my papers. Like, I really do not know why it's doing that. At least I have a solution for now. Ah! Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't know that it was filming. <clears throat> My cat is staring at me like I'm crazy. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another studio vlog here at Hand Studio. I'm an artist and I've been running my stationery business here from home for the past year. I recently decided to try YouTube, so this is my channel. Welcome, welcome to the videos. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I hate doing intros. I just feel so awkward. But I do really appreciate that you're here, that you're watching this video. I hope you decide to hang out on this channel a little bit longer and watch my other stuff and maybe hit that subscribe button. It really does go a long way to show support to small little businesses like mine. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying whatever weather you have. Today, we have beautiful blue skies here and the sun is out. We had snow like a couple days ago, so there's still snow on the ground and it's really cold out, but at least we have sun. That's like a you know, little beacon of hope that spring is on its way. So I wanna try and be productive today. I've got my little to-do lists here. Um, well, actually this one isn't a to-do list. This is a list of cards that I wanna make. I really wanna start designing some new greeting cards because I love the ones I have right now, but I feel like they're very limit limiting. Um, if you wanna see the cards that I have, you can check out this video. I will link it up here where I unbox all of them and you can see the line that I have right now. Um, they sell really well in the stores. They sell really well at markets, but I feel like I'm missing some key cards. Like I don't have a new baby card. I don't have other things. Um, and then I have my little mush get done, this whole list of products that I want to stock up on because I've got some huge markets coming up. And I'm also, I've been selling in consignment stores, like brick and mortar shops with my products and it's going really well. So I need to get some inventory for those as well. I feel like I say this every vlog, like every week, I'm like, I need to make more products, but that's just like, that's, that's what's, that's the truth <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's just the truth I do. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try and do today. I'm also gonna try and mix, we're gonna make some designs hopefully later, but I'm gonna do some work on the Cricut. So we're gonna get some projects going right now. So let's just get right into it because otherwise I'll just go on and on and this intro could be like 10 minutes long. I don't know why my Cricut's being like this. It's not like reading the sensor marks and cutting where it's supposed to. I I don't know, it's like being very finicky, finicky right now. And it's I think it's because when I print the page, the borders are, it's hard to explain. They're not like center on the paper, the piece of paper. They're printing out like higher, if that makes sense. So it could be a printing issue. Um, I don't know. It's definitely annoying, um, but at least I have this temporary solution. If I put the paper down a centimeter, it'll cut fine. So I really do not know why it's doing that. At least I have a solution for now, but I don't want to always worry about this. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just the cricket being the cricket, I guess. So you can see here, this line is from where it was cutting when I put it right in the corner and then when I moved it down a centimeter, it cut perfectly for the rest. I have no idea why it's doing that. I think obviously it's because it's the border is so close to the edge of the paper, but normally like that, that shouldn't make a difference. It should still calculate from where the borders are and print, but not like the extra white space. So I don't know why it's doing that. So here is how the page is printing out. So see how the whole thing isn't like center within the page? You can see that the borders at the bottom are closer to the edge of the page. I think that's where the issue comes from because if we look at Cricut Design Space, see how it's showing like, oh, there's gonna be like this amount of space here, this amount of space here, and then the borders are like perfectly in the paper. 
that's not happening when it prints. So that's, I think, why the air is happening. But it's still, like, I don't know why it would make such a big deal because it's supposed to read these marks and that's supposed to be what it bases off the cut from. So, like, in between these black lines, not in between where the page is. So I'm really, I don't know. <laughs> Also, I do have to say that I've had a pretty good luck streak with my Cricut so far, like, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but I've heard of a lot of my crafting friends and other small businesses who have a really hard time getting the Cricut to do what they want and to make it work. So I do think that I have had it pretty good. I've had pretty smooth sailing with my Cricut. Like, obviously, there's trial and error with every single project I do, but I don't generally have an issue, so... You know, it was bound to happen that something weird was going to go on. I'm not too surprised. Um, and, you know, it could totally be worse. So at least I can still get things cut for now. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what kind of issues you guys have with your Cricut. Or if you know any solution to this problem, if you've come across it yourself, please leave a comment below because I would love to know, like just it sometimes it helps just to hear that we're not the only ones struggling and if you do have a solution i would love to know that <laughs>I have also like recalibrated the machine already so that if it was an error with the Cricut, it would hopefully be fixed and realigned, but that seems to not have fixed the problem. So I'm just gonna keep placing my papers like an inch down because well, what I did was I measured when that false cut was happening, I measured where that my video totally just stopped i don't know if i'm running out of space or why i just like shut off anyways what i was trying to say was i measured essentially i measured where it was cutting on the page and where it should be cutting and that difference was about a centimeter that's what i moved it down a centimeter on the page and it ended up being basically exact as far as i can tell it's just the weird thing that my printer's doing. I'm gonna keep placing it down. See, I measured that space. Typically, a rule of thumb for Cricut is you put it right up in the corner and like you don't wanna misalign and not have it pressed up against that corner there. So this is kind of a weird, like I, I know I keep saying this, but I have no idea why it's doing this. Um, as long as this works, I guess we're okay and like whatever, but so yeah, we're just gonna let this happen and hopefully, It's working, so that's good, I guess. Just a really weird, really weird workaround, but it's cutting properly, so that's good. to actually show the new sticker sheets that I'm working on right now. Um, <laughs> well, Prim is just sitting next to me being super cute. Um, but yeah, I would have showed you this already, obviously. This new Money Day Planner sticker. What I'm trying to do now is obviously make more planner stickers. So for like agendas, for calendars, for bullet journaling, all that kind of stuff. Um, just for organizing like day-to-day -day more planner oriented sticker sets. So this money day has like payday, little savings, picky bank, and then a little bills to do at the bottom. And then the other one I've made so far is my mail day one, which just has a bunch of fun little letters and packages for, you know, when you have deliveries or you're expecting mail 
or even just to, you know, decorate your bullet journal, super cute. So those are the only two I have right now, but my plan for today is after I cut these and get a couple more ready is I'm going to go to a cafe, get some coffee, and then I want to draw out my other I have a couple other planner ideas. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get them all done, but I want to do like a weather one. I want to do a trash day with like recycling bins and like trash cans, compost. And then I want to do a party, like a birthday kind of sheet, not just for birthdays. I think it's going to be like party planning in general, but I want to do a couple of those. So that is the plan for today once I finish these. And yeah, I'm actually really excited for them. I haven't sold them at any markets. Like we haven't no one's seen them yet like these are absolutely brand new i've been wanting to do these for months like for months <laughs> basically since i started my business i was like i should do these so i'm really really happy that i'm starting to get them done um and i hope they'll sell well like i said i haven't taken them to markets they're not at any stores yet they're not on my etsy yet um, they hopefully will be um, very soon. I know that's one thing I procrastinate with the most is putting up listings on my website and on Etsy, but we'll see how they sell. I'm excited to see how they go. Okay, what the heck is happening now? Stop, abort, abort mission. Ah. Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, dang it. Okay. This is just doesn't need to be so chaotic. I just wasted two sticker sheets or two sticker papers because uh, I had it set up on the wrong cut. That was completely my own fault. That's just stupidity. This whole one had the wrong cut. It thought it was cutting the mail day page, but it was actually cutting the money day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, my camera totally I did not drop it. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay, that's just classic. It's my own error now for that last one, but I think it's a sign that as soon as I'm done this last page, I'm gonna actually head out like I said I was going to because it's just not happening right now. I think I need some coffee and I think I definitely need some food. So I'm gonna finish this up and head out. this place that I'm headed to right now is actually um, the place where I just had my market last week so if you want to check out that video you totally can um, <laughs> I'm just in the alley right now so I'm not being super dangerous um, but yeah it's a really cute little cafe that has like a really nice little view of the river valley and the city so it's actually really sweet but it's where I did my last market. I did a little bit of vlogging there last week. So if you wanna check out that video, go for it. And I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't wanna cause an accident. Alrighty, hopefully that's a good good enough angle. That was really nice. Um, I was able to get sort of the base of one design done at the cafe. 
I didn't really film much while I was actually sitting there because it was quite busy and um, I just don't like filming when there's a lot of people around me. <laughs> so I don't know if you can even see that. This, oh, it's changing because it's so uncomfortably awkward. Um, but basically this is kind of what I did, got done. It doesn't look like a lot. Um, I don't even, you probably can't even tell what the heck that is, but um, I just started doing kind of like the sketch and then the base colors for the party planner sticker sheet. So hopefully I can get that sticker sheet as a whole done over the weekend. It, I would love to be able to have it in markets as well. I think that's gonna be a fun one. I also started the weather one, but it's kind of tough to make a weather sticker sheet because it's kind of a boring, like it's not an exciting thing to draw, just like a cloud or like a, the sun, which I mean, maybe you can argue that it is exciting to draw and I can make it exciting by like doing a cool style or colors, but I just wasn't feeling motivated. So I like started drawing it and then I'm like, mm, I'll save that for another day. So I'll do that another time. Um, but I would love to get those, those two done as well as like a trash day planner sheet like I was talking about earlier. Those are my three main planner sheet goals for this weekend. Blah. As usual, it might be too much for me to try and do, but we'll see. Um, eventually it will get done though. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep working away here in the studio. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and we'll see what I get done with the rest of my day. Um, it looks like I just got an order on Etsy for one sticker sheet, <laughs> which is kind of cute because I don't really get sticker sheet orders off of Etsy very often. Um, and to be quite honest, I haven't got like any orders on Etsy in a really long time. Even on my website, I have like, I've gotten only a couple orders in the very recent months. So it's nice to get an order, even just for one small sticker sheet that like, oh, I only get like $3 from, <laughs> if that, after all the fees and everything, but it is nice to get. And I do just want to mention those numbers because often when you watch these kind of videos or when I watch them anyways, there's always like a little bit of um, the impression that owning a small business means that you're automatically successful or just because you make a video you're making money if you have followers you're making money and it's not always the case like obviously my follower count is really low in comparison to like everybody else but even the people that I think have like pretty high followings don't necessarily make a lot of sales and that includes me I <laughs> this is like the first sale I've got in on March 4th I got a couple on that day or yeah one ordered on March 3rd one ordered on March 2nd I shipped about on the 4th so that was the beginning of the month it's now the 30th so it's almost been a completely full month without any sales on Etsy um, I got one sale on my website during this month and then everything else I've just been selling like at markets and at the consignment stores so I never want to make it seem like I'm selling stuff all the time because I'm not it's not that's not my reality as of now. This is just a part-time business for me. This is something that I do for fun, just to be creative um, and to kind of pursue my passion. It's I have a full-time job on top of this and another part-time job as well, so I never want to make it seem like this is just like abundantly fruitful business. I get it is, but it's just not, I don't know, I just don't want to misrepresent. So that's the honest numbers. <laughs> um, I don't know if what I'm trying to say is making sense, but I just don't want to make it seem like I'm making tons of sales all the time because that's just not the reality for me. It is a bit of a slow buildup, I think, to the kind of success that um, all of us small business owners hope for. But I think that's good to have a slow buildup because you learn so much along the way. And if I was getting a ton of orders right now, I would be even more overwhelmed than I already am. Like I don't want to crash and burn. And I think I've been learning so much just with like being at markets, being in stores lately. And it's a good thing that I'm not getting like 30 orders per day. Um, one day that would be really cool if this was full time. I don't know if that's what my future is with this business, but I'm just trying to take it day by day. And I love getting, you know, a single order for a sticker sheet like I have now. I love getting big orders and I love get more, getting more than one order, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to be completely honest with you guys and try to be as transparent as possible. Sorry, I'm just putting my Cricut, my, I'm getting the sticker sheets going. Uh, they're a little update. They're cutting really well. So 
Uh, um, thank you for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> okay. Um, my computer is like taken off in the background because I'm uploading, I'm rendering a video right now. So my computer is like, <laughs> sounds like an airplane taking off. But anyways, I'm not really sure what the last thing I said to the camera was because as usual, it's been a couple days since I filmed. I know I was talking about the cricket issues that I've been having over the past week or so in this video. And it's still kind of an issue. I think I've decided it's obviously the Cricut making the mistake, but it's because the way my printer is printing onto the pages. Even um, when I'm making my magnets, I realized that that's why my magnets were cutting wrong. It's because they were printing all, like all, a little bit off. So anyways, it's kind of annoying. I'm still dealing with it. I just have to pay more attention when I go to set up the cut because if I don't put it where it needs to go on the page, it's just gonna mess up. So at least I know about the issue now. I just have to pay more attention as I go. And it's a little bit frustrating but it is what it is it's like like I said earlier it could be worse it's not like the worst issue issue in the world at least my Cricut is still working and my printer is still working it would be cool to get a new printer soon not just for this issue but also for like better quality and higher volume printing something that I'm considering very very soon as well so yeah I just wanted to say that before I say goodbye for now hopefully you'll tune in for next week's video and um and yeah, thank you so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day, guys.